All right, guys, I want to get you covered on some NEO price targets for the remainder of this week. There hasn't been a whole lot of news with NEO lately, but we can at least look for some nice price targets here as we've been hitting them in every single video. Now, I'm going to be covering price targets for both the upside and the downside on NEO just so we can be ready for every situation possible. Before I get started, baby, smash that like and hit that subscribe button. No more time wasted. Let's jump right into my screen. NEO. Now, NEO is up 3.76% on the day. Nice green day for NEO. We're starting to climb up towards that $11 price target range. So things are looking pretty pretty good in the short term here. When we look at the news, there's not a whole lot driving this. Now, I do know there has been some new information on their two uh, latest vehicles here. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot of news here and they are sitting pretty good. And Neo actually somewhat outperformed the market today. So this is a good sign. You're starting to see a little bit of that separation here. So what I want to do next is dive into the chart. We're going to go through this quick price analysis. I'll give you guys your price targets and then we'll get right out of here. So Neo, we talked about on the long term time frame. This is the daily chart for Neo, how it's sitting in this pretty much this big wedge here, not necessarily a rising wedge, but just, you know, that overall wedge pattern. You can see we have that sloping resistance line and that sloping support line. Now, net overall, we gotta be cognizant of the overall trend and direction here. Just because it's in a wedge, doesn't mean it's gonna like break out soon or anything like that. It's more denoting that we have lower highs and lower lows. So we're ultimately downtrending here. A lot of people forget, you know, as they get into NEO here, they're looking for long-term investments or they're looking to trade short-term. They forget the overall price direction. I wanna make sure you guys keep that in mind. Now, another thing that we can witness here in the short-term is that things are looking a lot better for NEO here. We're actually seeing in the intermediate price action, we are sustaining these higher lows. This is a really good sign here for NEO, especially when you zoom out here on the higher time frame. how oversold NEO is, okay? neo has been trading at a very low price for a very long time, but do keep in mind that most of the market right now from a macro perspective is favoring more of the value stocks. So there's kind of two categories here. You're gonna have your growth stocks and your value stocks. The value stocks are a little bit more secure of a bet, not as aggressive, and they're less volatile. So the market has been placing a lot more of their funds into that, hence why the growth stocks stocks have been kind of taking a hit here, right? You have like Lucid Motors, uh, NEO. I don't really want to count Nikola, but they were kind of part of that whole movement. Palantir. So a lot of these growth stocks are trading extremely low and we can benchmark ARK-K, which is Kathy Wood's ETF, to see some of this as a broader perspective here. So NEO, again, short term, it is looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Now, I'm not going to get too excited, but since about October 24th here, okay, that's a pretty long time, about two and a half months, neo has been looking better and better. We do have these higher lows denoted by this lower trend line down here. Now, if we wanted to short term, we did talk about some potential counter trend action here denoted by this trend line here, trend line, trend line. Guys, I love the trend lines here, but don't live or die by them. But you can see Neil is kind of creeping out of this trend line here, perhaps a little bit of a retest back to that trend line. And then we could be seeing a little bit of a further ascension upward. Now, if we want to start getting a little more excited about Neil here, we're going to take a look at this more interim price target here. We could see in the next few weeks, that's going to place us at about $14 flat. Now that is a huge psychological level for Neil. Most like whole clean numbers are going to be your nice psychological levels there. And that's where our prior high is so we do have higher lows leading up to this point let's see if we can clear this point here and then we're in a whole different ball game for neo another thing i want to note too at that 14 dollars price range is when we come back into the higher time frame here and we denote that long-term trend line look where 14 dollars puts us so if we break 14 dollars here this is a significant point and i would expect a significant reaction on the price here and we might even see that earlier down here at about that 12 30 12 25 level and we can see neo get a nice little pop here doesn't mean it's going to break out necessarily Necessarily, but I would expect some kind of reaction, whether that's going to be a rejection, possibly a false breakout, or an actual breakout to the upside here. So, some things to keep in mind on the higher time frame from NEO. Price targets, baby. Now, in this next part here, I'm going to cover price targets for NEO and at least the shorter term here. Make sure you watch through this entire portion here because I'm going to cover them for both the top side and the downside. And this should really help you out when you're going through your trading with NEO day to day. Now, I want to make sure you watch the whole part here because I'm going to be covering price targets that are going to be relatable for the next week or two. Okay. That that way this video can stay a little bit more relevant for you and not just last you through like tomorrow let's say you missed the video on the day of the upload or whatever i got you guys covered i'm done talking let's jump into my screen right here knock this out so short-term price targets for neo here so for this i think the easiest way to do this is simply come out to the 15 minute time frame here let's talk about the upside here first now we did talk about on the higher time frame here we do have these higher lows that have been sustaining so that is a really good sign for neo let's denote that with a dashed line boom bada bang neo recently has been looking pretty bullish and pretty good. Now, what's giving me some confidence in the recent price action is this candle right here. It has some strength, but it didn't quite give me the close that I want. I'd like for this entire candle to close completely above this prior high here, but you did see price start to creep up towards it and it is sufficing a little bit of rejection here. Now, if we want to speculate, I wouldn't 
just abide by patterns not my recommendation none of this is financial advice but we could speculate a little bit here about a potential cup and handle pattern here for the short term for that to validate for us we need to make sure that we're at least holding above the 50 line here at least uh, but i recommend we stay above 1045 if we want to keep that cup and handle pattern in mind for the short term as far as neo is looking for the next week ahead these are some key levels to the upside i'm going to watch and we're going to keep this really simple guys you don't need to over complicate trading uh, but we're going to be making sure we're watching that 1128 level and then 1150 and then up from there is going to be that additional prior high which puts us at 1224 anything above that we're going to keep in mind just these wicks include the wicks uh, on the way up here and there's levels to this right that's why i do these videos once per week because not only does the stock market change but these levels may change as well right let's say we crack all three of these levels tomorrow because of some catalyst or something then we're going to watch the next levels on the way up now ultimately we're going to be targeting that 14 dollar one that is a significant level that is the the money maker right there we need to cross above that so we can start talking about even perhaps a shift in trend direction for neo but until then we need to go one step at a time so let's talk about the downside here next and keep things super simple with neo in the short term here again we are starting to see some nice things here you know we're clearing some prior market structure like for example example with this move right here since we cleared above these common resistance levels right here that is a good sign okay so we're starting to make that ascend up and we're maintaining higher lows as we're doing that that is a really good sign guys now to sustain this we need to make sure that we're holding some significant levels here this support down here we have some common lows we need to watch that big time if we're looking to go to the downside we're going to watch that intermediate level at nine dollars and fifty cents i know that's far down below but we can get there in a hurry especially with the current market conditions so make sure you're watching the market i recommend watching QQQ. I noticed Neo likes to follow the NASDAQ a little bit more. So we can watch QQQ, watch 950 as a critical level. And now as a critical area just above that, you're going to watch $10. So $10 and then 950 are going to be your downward price targets. Now one more just below that. Now if we break $9, I'd expect it to be significant. The main reason is, is because we have this trend line right here that I denoted earlier, right with the dash line. So if we break 950, that is a big floor for Neo. We're going to keep this simply. We're going to come right next to the prior support level here come right off that wake we're going to put us at 905 or nine dollars now if you want to follow along with me and trade neo throughout each and every day and or week all you got to do is check out that link down below in the description and hop into our private discord channel as i'm watching this stock each and every day baby other than that guys leave me a like leave me a follow and i'll catch you in the next video Thank you.